An Android application that brings the now playing music feature from Pixel phones to any Android device running on it. Another Android application that lets you hide entire folders and apps with a single click. And finally, an Android app that gives you a pie style control with different mappable actions across all areas of your Android device. Yo, what's up guys? Anubhav here. And you know, a couple of weeks ago, I made a top Android app video where I had showcased a few applications that were Shizuku apps, basically apps that needed another app called Shizuku to give you extra features on your Android phone. Well, in that video's comment section, a lot of you guys asked me to make a separate video for Shizuku apps and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. Today, I have a list of five amazing Shizuku apps for you to install on your phone. So, well, let's get started. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and with that said, let's get started. Alright guys, before we go ahead and start talking about the best Shizuku applications, I think it is absolutely necessary for me to show you guys how to actually get Shizuku up and running on your phone. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download it from the link in the description below. Once you have installed the app, simply open it up and over here you will see that you need to set it up to make sure it's running properly. Now to ensure it starts running properly, you can click on this step-by-step -step guide that will show you all the steps that you need to basically start using Shizuku, but I'll make it super simple for you. Simply go to your phone settings, then to developer options. Google how to open developer options. If you don't see it there, it's super simple. After that, go all the way down to USB debugging and make sure that is turned on. Once USB debugging is turned on, go to wireless debugging and hit on pairing with code. After that, come back to the Shizuku app, press on the pairing button, just paste the code that you see in your settings. And after that, hit on the start button and Shizuku will be up and running. Now, this application will basically give you guys system level access that many apps in today's video will use to give you amazing features and trust me some of these apps are really insane so now that you have shizuku set up and ready to go let's talk about the first app the first app guys goes by the name of shizu tools and this is i would say a no-brainer if you have shizuku installed this is one of the first apps that you should have it basically has a list of all different tools that are very very helpful to every shizuku user so once you open it you will find different modules or basically tools that will let you do different things everything from deep bloater that lets you uninstall system level apps, mixed audio, which is a module that will let multiple apps to play audio at the same time, which I think is a really cool feature, and also mute specific apps. Just like this, there are many other tools like Soundmaster, Lookback, Universal Picture in Picture Mode, Local Shell, Intent Shell, etc., that let you do a lot of advanced tasks right on your phone itself. So, this is a no brainer. Download it from the link in the description below and use all the tools that you think are useful to you. With that said, guys, let's move on to app number two that needs Shizuku and this is of course volume manager. Now if the module inside Shizu tools is too complex for you this is a separate app that you can install to toggle different volume sources at the same time. Once you grant this app the Shizuku permission you will be able to see different apps with the volume label whenever you click on the volume rocker. This will let you let's say play YouTube music and a YouTube video at the same time and individually control the amount of volume that is outputted from your phone. This is very cool if you want multiple audio streams running at the same time on your phone and the app also does a really good job of getting it done in a simple way. Before we move on to the third Shizuku application which is really cool by the way, I would just like to talk about a software called mSpy which in my opinion has to be one of the best parental control solutions out there in case you want to monitor the phone that you have given to your children or your loved ones or you just want to monitor your own phone. I think this is a great solution to that let me show you a couple of features of it now the first thing you need to do is go to mspy.com and check out their new extreme plan this gives you access to a lot of cool features and it not only allows you to monitor standard features that we already can see in the dashboard but also access advanced tools like remote camera access and ambient listening so all you have to do is head to the link in the description and choose your plan after that is done you can follow step by step and i will show you exactly how to get this working on 
on you and your child's phone. After you have installed this on both the phones, you will actually get a lot of cool access features on your phone. Like for example, you can see where they are at all times by looking at their location. And after you select their phone from the list as well, you can see the name of the phone, the battery. And if you click on this arrow button, you will see a bunch of other features as well. This includes location, geofencing, contacts, etc. So if there is a location data, you can see the location when they are going from one area to the other. So you will be able to see it on the map as well. Basically, it's showing you all the areas that the other phone has visited, which can be really helpful in case they go to school and come back by themselves and you are not there to accompany them. You can set up geofencing zones where you can actually go ahead and select a new zone, which will be a restricted zone or an allowed zone. This way, you can also track if they are in the area that you want them to be or not, which I think is really cool. You can view all the contacts in the phone as well, which I think is a really, really nice addition. But of course, one of the best features that you will have will be the extreme features that are at the last option. Surroundings record section, which I think is really cool. You can actually tap into the microphone of your child's phone and hit on listen now or start recording to actually listen to the microphone. This can be really helpful in case they are talking to somebody that you don't want them to talk to or just for their general safety. And you can also record an audio file, which I think is really, really cool. Other than that, guys, if we go back, you can also go ahead and hit on messages. So you will be able to see their Instagram or social media messages right from your phone itself, which is great in case you don't want them to end up talking to predators, etc, etc. And of course, last but not the least is the live camera section, which I think is absolutely incredible, where you can tap into the front camera of the child's phone remotely on your phone and it will show you in real time where they are in case they are somewhere in danger and you want to get in touch with them. You can also go ahead and click a photo and switch the camera to the back camera as well in case that is something that you want to see and I think this is really really cool. Now don't worry all of this is completely consensual because on the phone that you will be tracking which is your child's phone you will have a notification which will come all the time so there's no worries about that this is only meant to be used in parental control scenarios or in case you want to take care of somebody's safety or just have it installed on your own other phone that you can keep a track on. Of course you can also see the screen time and the most used applications and I generally genuinely think that if there is a one-stop application that can take care of your parental control needs for your devices or for your loved one devices, mSpy with the extreme features in the extreme plan is literally the best app to do that with. With that said, let's move on to the third app on this list and that is called Ambient Music Mod. Now this is the application that I showcased in the intro of today's video. Basically this brings the now playing module that you find on Pixel devices which automatically identifies songs playing around you and displays it in your lock screen onto any Android phone. That's right. As long as you have Shizuku access, you can install this app and get that feature. You can add the widget on your lock screen where it will automatically recognize songs that are playing around you and tell you the name of the song. And also if you click on it, it will show you more info on it. If you constantly travel or move to different places and just want to keep a track of what are you listening to in the background, this is a lifesaver. When I used to use a Pixel phone, I really loved this feature and now with this app you can actually have it set up on any Android phone so yeah you're welcome for that with that said guys the next application is called Amarok and this is another really cool app that lets you hide complete folders from your internal storage and also sets of applications in one click this is again a very useful app after you grant the Shizuku permissions simply hit on the select hidden files and select the folder that you want to hide you can also go ahead and set hidden apps to so select a group of apps that you want to be hidden and after that just click on this hide button and they will disappear the folder will disappear from your my files internal storage apps will disappear from the app drawer to make them appear back again all you have to do is hit on the unhide button inside the app and after that they will come back this is a very good app which you can basically use to hide apps and folders sometimes but not all the time and it also works really well and just requires the shizuku permission make sure to check it out last but not the least guys we have a really cool app called ubiki touch which gives you a lot of cool ways to navigate your Android phone and also set up custom actions from gestures. So basically in this application, after you turn it on, you can have different menus popping up from the left, the right or the bottom side of your screen. Over here, you will have the basic options like back as well as home and recent apps. But of course, you can configure the way this menu will look. So from everything from a pie navigation way to different waves as well as ripples, you can select that. But you can also select individual actions. So I can literally set up the left one to open up my Google
Google Assistant or to open up any trigger action or app. I think it's really cool. You do require the Pro version to actually get the full-fledged functionality where you can configure every single part of it. But just to get an idea about how the app works, I think the free version does a great job. And additionally, if you ever need more features than what the free version allows, you can think of upgrading. But for me, I think the free version is really cool to play around with. And this is just again one of those applications that really make you understand how much is possible if you just give it permissions from Shizuku. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, those were my top five apps that are must have for all Shizuku users. If you've been using these apps or others, let us know in the comments below. I would love to know more about these apps and also share them with you guys. If you install Shizuku for the first time, let me know in the comments how you are liking it. And if you're facing any problems, I'm sure our community would be more than happy to help you guys out. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Anwar signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon to never miss any other videos like this ever again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe and peace out.